So we'll be following a Microsoft tutorial uh, for this video series, and we're going to be focusing on Razor Pages with Entity Framework Core in ASP.NET Core. And there is a full tutorial on the Microsoft website. I'll include the link in the resources uh, for, for this video series. There are eight steps. Uh, we'll see how many we get through. Uh, essentially, the end result, we will end up with a web application that looks a little bit like this. So if you're familiar with the term CRUD, uh, so C-R-U-D, uh, this is a, a, a CRUD web application, which essentially means we can do create, read, update, and delete functions, which is common when it comes to building applications. The beauty of .NET Core is it lets us build out this kind of app very quickly and easily. And we'll actually get a first version of the app working by the end of this first step, uh, the get started step. And it won't be quite as full featured as this, but we'll have the basic CRUD functionality working. So this is what we're, we're shooting for. It's a basic student management system. So here you can see we'll have listings of students and we'll be able to view extra details. We'll be able to edit the records. We'll be able to delete them. We'll also have a create new link where we can create new records and that covers off all our CRUD functionality. Some advanced features that we'll, we'll get to later in the, the tutorial series are filtering or searching and also pagination. Uh, so previous next and we can configure how many items we have on each page. This is what the edit form kind of looks like and uh, we will be able to customize these but again .NET Core gives us some ready-made functionality out of the box which is really powerful. So that's what we'll be looking at. Um, we'll be building this out in Razor Pages which is kind of a more lightweight or accessible approach. It's an architectural pattern that's a little bit similar, uh, simpler than MVC. So if you've heard of MVC, or if you haven't heard of it, it stands for Model View Controller. And there are some differences in the way we organize our files in .NET Core projects. Razor Pages is a little bit more accessible, a little bit simpler, particularly for beginners. So that's why we're sticking with that in this tutorial. 